All right, welcome everybody. Today we are going to get started with a little bit of ramp work. Uh, first thing we always do is we start by doing some mobility work. So let's just start with some knee hugs. So as we go through this, uh, you're going to keep your chest up, keep your backs flat. Uh, as you can see, it's just me and uh, we are back at it at the gym. So uh, we are working hard. I'm going to turn that to a toe grab. So we have got live classes going on. So we are out in our outdoor area. So uh, we looks a little different. Uh, we don't have as much room. I don't have nine cameras set up. So uh, let's change it to a little side to side lunge. Okay. Uh, so we are going to uh, continue to go through uh, workouts on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8.30. Okay. From here, can we turn that to drive that heel to the ground, sweep down. Okay. I like to do them all on one side. So I'm going to do four or five on my right, and then I'm going to do four or five on my left. I'm trying to get my fingertips to hit the floor. Good. Nice job. One more. Other side. Today, we are going to go through and we're going to do some alternating reverse lunges. We're going to do some eyes wise and T's. We're going to do some skater hops. So a little bit of upper body, a little bit of lower body, a little bit of metabolics. Uh, we're going to do a toe touch, sit to a Y squat, toe touch, sit, Y squat, stand up. Then we're going to add in some chest presses, some duck walks, and some burpees. So be prepared for those. And I'll show modifications, ways to make them harder, ways to make them easier. Then we're going to do some back rows, some goblet squats, and a plank to end. All right, let's just do some big arm shoulder circles to get us going there. You can do two arms at a time, one arm at a time. Timer's gonna be 30 work, 15 rest. So gather up your stuff, figure out what you're gonna need. I'm gonna use only bands today, but I'll talk you through any of your other stuff. We'll be right back. Timer is going to be a, just a quick little timer on our phone, 30 work, 15 rest. I'm going to say ready, set, go in about two seconds, and we're going to start with reverse lunges. Ready, set. All right, so we are off to the races. We are doing our lunges. So reverse lunges are as follows. We're going straight back. I'm going to show the side view just to go through a couple things. Notice how my front knee stays over my front ankle. At no point do you see my knee go out in front of me. My butt is always going back. My leg is always going back. I'm pushing up through my front heel. We are going to grab some light weights in just a second, and we are going to do some eyes, wise, and T's. So remember, as we do our eyes, wise, and T's, I'll show them facing you. I'll show a few sideways. The idea is that we're going to get our thumbs up to the sky in an I, in a Y, and in a T. So hinge at the hips, eyes, wise, T's, eyes, wise. Notice when I do that T, my hands are not back here in my pockets. They're directly out to the side of my shoulders. Eyes, Y's, T's. Eyes, Y's, T's. Pushing my shoulders down towards my tailbone, not up towards my ears. Perfect. Almost done with these. Excellent. Now, we're going to do some skater hops. These we're going to jump from side to side. If you are not great at the jumping stuff, you can march, you can fake jump rope, you can just do a step side to side quickly, uh, you can jog in place. So, but the move as we show it is here, big step, okay, like you're hopping over a giant puddle, shoulder blades back. Notice how tall my posture is. I'm staying up, staying light on my feet, nice and nimble. Keep going, the faster you go, 10 more seconds. Let's go, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, come on. Let's go, we're gonna finish strong and go to chest press, come on. Move, move, move. Three, two, one. All right, so grab one of your heavier bands, and as you do, wrap it around something heavy. If you have some weights, you can do this on the floor. If you don't have um, any bands at all, you can do push-ups, but I've got something, so I'm gonna use that, show it. Good, notice, standing up tall. I'm not up in my ears. My elbows are out, 
staying with my hands in front of me. If I have two bands, I want to make it a little harder. I'm going to try on the next round. I'm going to use a red and a blue. Chest is up, tall, and then we're going to go to duck walks. Now, if you have one of those little bands, make sure that's close by. We'll put that around our toes. I'm going to show it with our resistance tube. So we're set up, and I'm going to bring my hands up nice and high. Best the band on my elbows. Three, two, one, and I'm going to do my side to side. Now, if you have a little band, you can just put that around your toes. Okay? Notice how straight up and down I am. I'm not leaning into it. I'm not sticking my butt back. I'm staying up nice and tall. Good. Really stretching out those legs. Taking a wide step as I can. And we're going to move to burpees next. And for this first round, I'm going to show a modified version for those of you who have a couch or a box, or if you just have trouble getting up and down. So I'll get you to take a care of that. Those of you who can do burpees on the floor, it's the same thing. You're just doing them on the floor. So we're here, down, back, up, up, down, back, up, up. If I'm trying to make it a little bit easier, I'm just using my legs slowly. Push up stands, one step, two step, up, up. So that's the easier version. Chest up, shoulders back. Lots of different ways to do this. Faster you go, lower you go. If you are doing them on the floor, make sure you are staying with your eyes in contact with me. Keep going, work hard, perfect. We're gonna go to back rows next. So we're gonna try and find our heavy band again. If you have to do them on the floor, I'll show that next time, but you'll stand on it and row. But this time, I'm gonna use anchor points, and we're here, okay? Getting back out of the way, doing our rows. Again, I'm gonna grab two bands next time. Or, for those of you at home who have to do them on the floor, I'm gonna stand on it, bring my hands down a little lower, and row like so. So we have a ton of options. You gotta choose the one that's best for you. We're gonna go to squats next. Good. For me, I'm just gonna take this fan, I'm gonna bring it up, hold it here, and then I'm gonna have a little resistance. If you have a weight, you would hold it the same way I'm holding the band, but the weight would be in between. If there's a box close by, maybe you're going down and tap it for it. Good, keep pushing through, chest up, shoulders back, good. Drive through those heels. Notice, we're here and back, straight up and down. Good, looks good. Basically, similar to the lunging, we did a lot of glute work on Monday, so trying to do a lot of quad and full leg work today. We're gonna go to a plank next. Good. So for the first plank, I'm gonna do it elevated for the people who need a little help. Those of you who can get on the floor, you can go on your palms, you can go on your elbows. I'm gonna show the box version or the couch version. So we're up here, you can add a tap, you can add a leg lift, you can just hold. All of those count for the floor as well. So pull your shoulder blades back, push your shoulder blades to your butt, turn your elbows towards your fingertips so they actually rotate. It's called the corkscrew effect. We're getting into position. Our body is completely straight. Toes are digging in. And that, my friends, is the end of round one. So let's take a short little break. I'm gonna grab a towel, grab some water, and we'll do round two in just a minute. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back. We are going to do some reverse lunges to start. We're going to begin in three, two, one. Perfect. So, weights on your front heel, chest up, shoulder blades back. Get down nice and low. Good. If you want to make it a little harder, you can add a little hop there. Make it a little more challenging. If you have weights, you can hold your weights at your side. Not so easy to make it a little harder with a band, but hey, we're doing our best work, right? We are going to move on to I's, Y's, and T's next. So, we're staying tall, we're switching, 
we're getting into position. Remember, our back is flat, maybe some two cans of soup. Uh, I'm gonna show it with a light band. For those of you who have light bands, you can see another option. It's a very challenging option. Standing on it, and we're gonna come up to an I, come up to a Y, come up to a T. Good, I's, Y's, T's. Now I'm looking forward just to check on you guys, but your head should be in alignment with your spine. Your shoulder blades should be pushing down towards your hips. You're getting down at a good hip hinge. Thumbs to the sky. And now we're gonna go to skater hops. So again, if you are in a position where just marching, jogging in place, if you have a jump rope, we're not doing any of that today. It's a great alternative. And we're gonna start hopping up and over. Come on, we're getting our legs moving. Good. Think about how big of a puddle could you have to jump over, okay? If you only have a little one, that's fine. If you can go to the days when Amber was here and she had those gigantic legs and she was really, really covering a lot of space. We got seven seconds, keep going. We're gonna go to chest press next. I'm gonna show another option for you guys. So if you have the ankle point, great. If you don't, take your band. Fold it in half. Throw it around your back like you just saw. And then you press this right through here. So again, these home workouts, if you don't have a lot of equipment, it's certainly better than nothing. You guys are doing a great job. Push through your chest muscles. Stay out of your neck. Good. Keep your core engaged. After this, we're gonna go to a duck walk. So, your job is to get that little duck walk band. Use this band. Okay, I'm gonna use, this is the hardest band that I brought out with me today. So I'm not gonna be able to bring it up to my shoulders, but I am gonna be able to hold it right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna step side to side and off we go. So I'm not gonna get as big of a step, but I can still feel it in my glutes. Still feel it in my outer thighs. My core is engaged. I'm standing really tall. Good. All right, after this, we're gonna do some burpees. We're gonna do some up-downs. Remember, if you need to modify anything, you can. We always show some easy versions, some hard versions. Ooh, kind of wish I didn't show the hard version of that one. Man, that was tough. Okay, we're gonna go to some up-downs and some burpees. I might be a little bit off screen for this one. Apologize, we're a little tighter quarters than we were before. I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna jump back, jump up, stand up. My eyes are always facing the camera, except for when I jump back. So I don't bow for my hips, I sit down. Remember, you can do this on a couch or a bench. <clears throat> Getting up nice and tall. Add a little hop if you wanna make it harder. Go back into a full plank. Good, one more. Woo. All right, so now I said I was gonna show a harder version of these back rows. I will, I'm gonna step on it. <clears throat> I showed it halfway through. This is for people who don't have an ankle point. So we're gonna get down here and we're gonna row straight up. Bringing our elbows to the sky. Keeping them back in our pockets. Keeping our shoulders out of our neck. I reach down further than the handles to add more resistance. Keep going. Nice job. Chest out. Shoulders towards your tailbone. Row up. You can go fast if you want to bang out a few extra before the timer goes. Excellent. We're going to go to some squats now. Again, if you want to I'll show another version, I'll show the pulsing squat version. So for those of you who want a little different one, so I'm gonna stay in that middle range. If you like the full squat, got a band, if you have a weight, use those. Here, I'm staying in that middle range. I'm keeping my shoulder blades back and chest up. I'm getting my tailbone tucked under and in, and I'm trying to bang out one per second. Keep going, 
Keep going, work hard. Do your best work right now. Come on, get low. Full range of motion if you're doing them that way. Great weight, perfect. All right, last one. We're gonna get to a plank. I'll probably pop off the screen a little bit, but I'm there with you. So listen for my voice. Woo! All right, you can do it on your elbow. You can do it in push up form. Notice how my shoulder blades are down. I'm pushing my head away from my feet. My elbows are pointed towards my chin. My shoulder blades are squeezing together. My glutes are clenching like I'm trying to squeeze juice out of a grape. I'm holding on for dear life. I'm shaking if I'm doing it right. And round two in the books. Nice job, everybody. All right, we got two more rounds. Take a little break, catch your breath. Grab some water, grab your towel. We will see you in a second. Welcome back, everybody. We are going to start round three. Uh, time to ramp it up. You know the moves. You've done them twice. You know exactly what we're doing. You may not remember the order, but I'll cue you through it. I am going to hit my timer. We're going to start in three, two, one. Off we go. So we're in those reverse lunges. I'm going to a little hop this round. Try and up my game a little bit. Add a little bit more depth to my squats and lunges. I'm going to add a little bit more resistance to my band work but I'm not gonna sacrifice form for anything. So I'm gonna keep moving through everything as best as possible. Shoulders are back. Even though I'm hopping, I'm going down with my front heel. I'm not landing on my toes, okay? We got three, two, and one. Eyes, Y's, and T's. So this workout just changed because I'm starting off metabolic with some strength work. I'm gonna use my band. I'm gonna step on it with one foot just to get increase my range of motion. Okay, if you have weights, if you have, believe it or not, I even saw some people doing bottles of wine. So not terribly heavy, but they don't need to be. If I were to pick any of you at home, I might be hard pressed to find full bottles of wine. They'd all be empty. So keep going. We've got five more seconds. Keep going through those eyes, Wise. And T's. All right. We are going to go to skater hops. Again, jump rope if that's better for you. March if that's better for you. Hey, pick the right move for you. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Big steps. Whew. We're kicking it into gear now. Getting a little bit warmer. Keeping good posture. Landing soft like a ninja. Real quiet. Don't land heavy and hard, okay? Good, 10 seconds. Pick up your pace a little. Come on, rocking and rolling. Let's go, let's go. Come on, five more seconds. Don't quit early. Don't quit early. We gotta still do chest presses. Okay, come on. All right. So, I'm gonna double up my bands. And I'm gonna use the anchor point one if that's okay. So, if you need a different version, just hang in there. Do your best. All right. Chest press it is. Off to the races. Press out. Work hard. Hands are at shoulder height. Okay? We are driving through our palms. Core is engaged. So you're not just slouching. Your shoulders are pushing down towards your heels. Good. Drive through. Elbows up. Really push hard. Excellent. We're going to duck walks now. So, duck, duck walks it is. We'll switch to medium band. All right, perfect. Hopefully you guys have some good tunes on at home to go along with us. Okay. You guys are playing your favorite hits. Good. Could be Goo Goo Dolls, could be John Cash. Hopefully it's not Beethoven. I'm not very motivated by Beethoven when I'm working out. Come on, let's go. 10 seconds. Keep those duck walks going, then we're gonna go to up downs and burpees. Come on, push hard. Let's go, let's go. 
three, two, one. Woo. All right, up, down, and do this, right? Remember, if you're better off doing a version on a couch or a bench, please do that. Okay, I'm just trying to get a workout in with you, so I'm not gonna use that version. We sit down, hands on the floor, still can look forward. Jump back, look to the floor. Jump up, look up, stand up. Down, back, together. Good. Whether you go slow or fast, keep your butt down. If you have to go one leg at a time, that's okay. Keep pushing through. Work hard. Do your best work now. Come on, come on. We got back rows next. Three, two, one. All right. Whew, back rows it is. Double up your bands. Grab your weights. Whatever you have. Make this your best workout. It's third round. All right, off we go. Back into position. Notice how I'm adding a little pause. I'm keeping my elbows down. I'm keeping my shoulders down. My, it's, I'm imagining that there's someone standing above me with a string attached to my head, keeping me tall. My glutes are engaged. My core is engaged. Good, keep going. Work hard. All right, back rows are done. And Goblet squat. Off the goblet squats. So I'm gonna use a band. Try and widen my stance a little bit. Get my hands up nice and high. Down and up. You saw the pulsing version last time. Maybe you like that one. Keep your weight on your heels. Keep your think about that string analogy I just gave you a minute ago. Where you're getting pulled straight up and going straight down to the floor. We're not leaning forward. We're not falling backwards. Keep pushing through. Do your best. Let's go. Come on. Rip cage. Tighten in. Squeeze your glutes on top. And we have one more plank. One more plank. So take your time. Listen for my cues. Push up plank. Maybe you add an arm lift. All right, off we go. So my hands are underneath my shoulders. I can do an alternating arm lift. I can do an alternating leg lift. I can keep my shoulder blades back, my elbows turned towards my chin. If I lift my leg up, it's only an inch or two. I'm not spinning out or twisting. Keep going. Do your best. Try hard. Just a few more seconds. And we are done with round three. All right, you might even hear Amber in the background. She's got them going for their last round. We're just gonna start our last round now. We're gonna begin with lunges. Last, last round, give it your best round, okay? We're going in three, two, and one. All right, doesn't matter whether you jump, doesn't matter whether you go slow, hold weights, Hold milk chugs, hold wine bottles, whatever you got. You wanna make it a little harder, go for it. If you're tired, go nice and easy, okay? You don't have to, you've already done three solid rounds. So make sure every time you do things in this round, you do it with the right form, you perfect your craft. So knees are not going to weird places. Pushing up through your heel. Hopefully we're not rushing to the fire like they are. Eyes, Y's, and T's, okay? Eyes. Y's, T's. T's are not down here. T's are out here. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. Eyes, Y's, and T's. Straight up, thumbs to the sky. Shoulders to the hips. Arms out. Now stretch it away. Push it away from your midline. Push it away from your spine. Pause at the top. Go through as best as you can. Rise through those hands. Good, we got skater hops next. Let's finish these up. All right, nice job. Skater hops it is. Time to get our heart rate blasted. Get our heart rate up. Let's push hard. Won't have to do these again today, okay? You're earning your day. Okay, when you do these workouts in the morning, you're earning your day, let's go. Come on. You're using this time to say, 
You started off right. Everything else I do today, I'm gonna do well as I'm gonna do well. Okay? Come on. Big steps, big jumps. Land soft. Nice and quiet on the landing. I shouldn't hear you. Arms can move freely. Okay? Don't have them all bunched up. Stand up tall, and we'll move the chest press next. Come on. Five, four, three, two. All right, off we go. All right. Again, I'm using the anchor point version. I showed you a wraparound version. You can do these on the floor with weights. So we got lots of ways to do this. You just gotta pick the right one for you. All right, off we go. Keep it up around shoulder height. If you're doing it my way, press through your armpits. Feel your core pull into your spine. If you got push-ups, you can do those too. Shoulder blades back, neck up high. Feet together. Push, keep going, push, keep going. Nice job, everybody. Work hard, finish strong. Okay, we're going to our duck walks next, right? Duck walks it is. So, little band, big band, good tunes. Let's go. Three, two, and off we go. Come on, baby. Big steps. Don't let your feet come all the way together. Really stretch out those bands. But if you don't have a duck walk band, just kind of do maybe another set of skater hops if you want. We're gonna do burpees next. And then we're on the home stretch. We got four more after this. Come on, let's go, let's go. Five seconds. Good, four, three, two, and one. All right, nice job. We are on to burpees, no downs. All right, we're working hard. We're gonna finish strong. Let's see how many you can get and try and do one extra this round, okay? One extra burpee this round. Show the legs back, let's go. Down and up. Good, jump if you want. Down and up, keep pushing. It's outside today. Sweating a little bit more for me. Let's go. Good, keep pushing, keep pushing. Do your best work right now, come on. Good, we got 10 seconds. Get a good few good ones. Make sure you're sitting down low into those. Good, come on. And that's it for those. Back rows it is. Whew. Heart rate's jumping now. Let's get ready for those back rows. If you want to bend over, if you want to grab weights, you got an anchor point, hey, got to do what it takes, right? Let's go. We're in it. We're rowing. I'm gonna go a little quicker this round. I'm gonna push a little faster, a little harder. Come on. Go, go, go. Shoulder blades down. Elbows in. No stopping. Good. Come on, we got squats next. We're almost done, five seconds. Good. Push for me, push for me. No quitting early. Good. All right, squats it is. Grab the band that works for you. Grab the weight that works for you. Stay stacked. Stack those hands and off we go. And up, and up, and up. Drive through those heels. Pulsing squats, weighted squats, speed squats, heavy squats. Good, I can do them in the house. I can do them with my mouse. Let's go, come on, keep pushing, we're almost done. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and one for good luck. All right, last one, everybody. Last one, last one, last one. Looks good. Whew. All right, let's get into our planks, whatever version, and go the whole time, let's go. Do not quit early, add an arm lift. Add a leg lift, squeeze your glutes, do an RKC, feet together or feet wide. Push your toes into the ground, push your hands into the ground. Hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Elbows twisted forward. Screw those shoulder blades into your spine, into your pockets, not into your ears. Finish this plank out, come on. It's the last thing we gotta do, do not end early. Woo, all right, nice job everybody. 
All right. Hopefully your heart is pumping. Hopefully you worked hard today. Good little mix up of upper body and lower body, and a little Metcon, a little core. So it's a whole thing. If you live someplace where it's nice, not a ton of time left, but if you want to maybe just do four or five sprints, maybe go out, head to the mailbox or you know, go to your neighbors three doors down and then walk back, do that a couple times. It's a great option. Regardless of what you do, make sure you take a minute to stretch. Make sure you take a minute to focus on your mobility and your flexibility, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, all those things. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again.